Welcome to Math 20 Video Lecture Series. In our previous videos, we talk about the fundamental identities and the Pythagorean identities. In this lecture, we're going to continue our discussion on trig identities. In particular, we're going to talk about the sum and difference identities. So, so bago natin bigay yung formula, let us consider these examples. Or maybe this is a recall. So, cosine pi over 2, we know that it is 0. And cosine pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So, ano kayang value ni cosine pi over 2 plus pi over 4? Okay, compute natin. This is cosine. Let us get the sum. The sum is over 4. 3 pi over 4. And this is negative square root of 2 over 2. So, from this 2, anong mga observe natin? So, yung cosine pi over 2 plus pi over 4 is it equal to cosine pi over 2 plus cosine pi over 4? And obviously, hindi. Because the value of this is negative square root of 2 over 2. While the value of this sum is square root of 2 over 2 because of this. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, hindi sila equal. So, ang point lang naman nito ay hindi mo pwedeng i-distribute yung function na cosine. Hindi mo rin pwedeng gawin yun sa sine and sa tangent. So, ang tanong, kapag binigyan tayo ng, okay, burahin ko lang. Pag binigyan tayo ng cosine alpha plus beta, saan kaya siya equal? And it is equal to cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha, sin beta. So, yung derivation nito, sa ibang videos na lang. Okay? But for now, kailangan maintindihan muna natin kung ano yung formula and paano siya ginagamit. Okay? So, para matandaan nyo siya, for cosine alpha plus beta, tatandaan nyo yung cos, cos, sin, sin. Okay? And alpha, beta, alpha, beta. And if the sign here is positive, negative dapat dito. So, how about cosine alpha minus beta? Ganun pa rin, cos, cos, sin, sin, but instead of a plus, minus, instead of a minus, plus na yun nandito. Okay, so, if this is minus, plus ito. And itong dalawang to, we write this one ng mas maikli, yung compact form. Compact form. <laughs> Okay, para hindi tayo pa ulit-ulit ng pagsusulat. Okay. So, sinusulat natin siya ng ganito. So, may... So, dalawang formula ang ibig sabihin niyan. This one means ito. So, yung pagbasa dito ay kung kinuha mo yung plus dito, hinasa ibabaw, puro nasa ibabaw yung kukunin mo sa kabila. So, kung inasa ilalim yung kinuha mo sa left, yung pink, yung pink yung kukunin mo dun sa kabila, inasa ilalim. Okay? So, let me just write the other 2 for sine and tangent. So, sine alpha plus beta is, I said na cos cos sin, sin we have sin cos cos sin. Sin, cos, cos, sin. At sa sign, kapag plus dito, plus din sa kabila. Kapag minus sa left, minus din sa right. And for tangent, so ang gagawin is tangent alpha plus tangent beta all over 1 minus yung product nung tangent alpha and tangent beta. So, kung plus dito, plus yung sa numerator, minus yung sa denominator. 
pag minus yung sa left, minus yung sa numerator sa right, and plus yung sa denominator sa right. Okay? So, gamitin na natin itong mga identities natin. So, first example, uh, what is the value of cosine 75 degrees? Not 75 degrees, wala yan sa mga special value sa unit circle. But, pwede natin i-express si 75 degrees as a sum or difference, kung kaya natin, ng mga special angle sa unit circle. And in fact, 75 degrees can be expressed as 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. 30 degrees and 45 degrees are special angles sa unit circle. And we apply this one. Cos, cos, sin, sin. So, cos, cos. So, plus ito. So, magiging minus dito. And, susupply na lang natin yung values nito. Okay? Okay, ano? Cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Sine 30 is 1 half. Sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. So, pag sinimplify, we get square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. So, this is the value of cosine 75 degrees. Okay, isa pa. Next example. Okay, burahin na natin ito. Next example natin. What is sine 5 pi over 12? Okay. So, can we express this one as a sum or difference of two special angles? Mm, ano ba yung mga special? Yung mga over 4, over 3, over 6, no? Mga... Parang pwede ko ito isulat as 2 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12. And when you simplify this 2, makukuha natin is pi over 6 plus pi over 4. And special ito pareha. Okay, so let us apply our formula. So, this formula. So, ang gagamitin natin si sin cos cos sin. So, sin cos cos uh, sin. Okay, and then susupply na lang natin yung mga values nito. Okay. Sine pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine pi over 4 square root of 2 over 2 plus cosine pi over 6 1 half square root of 2 over 2. And this is equal to square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. And the value of this one is the same as this one. Okay. So, third example. Para lang ma-familiarize tayo dun sa formula. That's why we are giving this kind of examples. Okay. So, uh, let us give the exact value of this expression. So, ano raw ang exact value niya? Hindi ba suspicious yan? Ah, kamukha niya yung formula na ito. Tangent alpha plus tangent beta 1 tapos minus tangent alpha tangent beta. And that is the same as tangent alpha plus beta. Our alpha is 
43 degrees and our beta is 77 degrees. So this is tangent 43 degrees plus 77 degrees. Ano ba ito? This is tangent 43 degrees plus 77 is 120 degrees. And we know, kung hindi nyo memorize yung value nyan, pwede nyo gawin sine over cosine muna. Okay. Ano bang value nyan? What is sine? One, nasa may sine 120. is 120 degrees. The reference angle is 60 degrees. Okay. So, tangent is negative. Ay, hindi. Sine is positive sa second quadrant. So, 60 degrees. So, square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is negative. So, the answer is using nga natin sulat ko. So, ang answer natin ay, ay, negative square root of 3. Okay. Okay. And so, mar mer medyo marami pa tayo examples. Puro examples tayo for this uh, topic. Kasi, important talaga itong formula ito. Kailangan gamay na gamay natin ito. Okay, kasi up to the very end magagamit natin siya okay so example we have an angle theta uh, such that tangent theta is negative 1 7 and sine theta is negative so, ang pinapahanap niya, find cosine theta minus 3 pi over 4. So, yung tanong, what is cosine theta minus 3 pi over 4? So, para hindi tayo mahirap, kailangan alam niyo yung hinahanap niyo. So, take note that this one ay difference. So, pwede natin gamitin yung formula ng eto. Okay? So, this is cos cos. Ano ang gusto ko? Pink. Hindi. So, ko. Hindi, pink na lang. Cos. Cos. Make up your mind, brand. <laughs> cos. Cos. Sin. Sin. Okay. So, itong cosine 3 pi over 4 tsaka sine 3 pi over 4 may value na tayo doon so walang problema doon so ang kailangan nating mahanap is cosine theta and sine theta pero given tayo ng tangent theta so paano natin mahuhugot yung sine at cosine from here and here okay diba meron tayong Pythagorean identity so actually gagamitin nyo lang dito yung ibang identity sa siya sa Pythagorean identities and the fundamental identities so ano mang meron tayo so we know that 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to secant squared theta so pag nakompute na natin secant pag you know, may reciprocal na you can get cosine and pag may cosine ka na mo formula yung sine Okay, plug in lang natin si negative 1, 7 equal to secant square theta. So, 1 plus 1 over 49 is secant square. Ano na labas dyan? Combine natin to. Is it 51 over 49? So, secant Theta, get the square root of both sides. Square root of 51 over square root of 49 is 7. But magdi-decide pa tayo kung plus or minus siya. Depending kung nasaan yung angle theta. Okay. Sa so drawing tayo ng uh, xy axis natin. So, 
always remember the all simpa ko. So, tangent is negative. So, hindi na siya pwede sa quadrant 1 and quadrant 3 because in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3, tangent is positive. So, wala na ito. And, sabi dito, sign is negative. Kaso sa quadrant 2, sign is positive. So, nasa quadrant, 4 tayo. And, cosine is positive there. So, yung kanyang uh, reciprocal is also positive. So, the secant theta that we're talking about must be positive. So, pwede ko nang burahin. And we can get cosine theta is the reciprocal of this. 7 over square root of 51. Okay? Ang tanong, paano natin makukuha yung sine? So, burahin ko na yung ito ah. So, we already have cosine theta. Okay. So, ang tanong, paano naman si sine? So, gagamit ulit tayo ng identity. Pwedeng fundamental identity. So, tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And if you multiply both sides of this identity by cosine theta, we get sine theta is cosine theta times tangent theta. Ano ba si cosine? Nakompute na natin yon 7 over square root of 51. While tangent theta is negative 1 over 7. Binigay na yun. So this is negative cancel cancel 1 over square root of 51. Yay! Meron na tayong cosine theta and sine theta. So, po-plug in na lang natin yun. So, cosine of theta is 7 over square root of 51. Cosine 3 pi over 4 is uh, negative square root of 2 over 2 plus sine theta is negative 1 over square root of 51 sine 3 pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 okay. so simplify na lang natin so let me just erase this thing ay na pala pink gusto ko pink ay ay yeah. Okay. Simplify. We get negative. Set. So, kung nga pink na ba? Ulit. Negative 7 square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 51 minus the product of this is square root of 2. Ah, negative siya kasi. Positive times negative. Negative. Okay over 2 over square root of 51 so this is uh, negative 7 square root of 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 51 or negative 8 square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 51 so simplify pa to four over, uh, 8 over 2 is a 4 or yung final answer ay Negative 4 square root of 2 over square root of 51. Okay. And that is the value of this. Okay. Okay. So, meron pa tayong 3 examples na lang. Okay. So, ang dami nating examples for this topic. Okay. Delete na natin. So, pwede nyo i-pause yung video kung meron kayong mga hindi na-absorb. And of course, you can always email me or your discussion teacher. Okay, eto. Medyo ganun din, katulad nung kanina yung tanong. But we have two given angles. Given uh, two angles 
alpha and beta such that sine alpha is 3 fifths with ang tangent alpha rho is positive and secant beta is negative 29 over 20 with ang tangent beta rho is negative so, ano yung tanong? So, ang tanong daw ay find tangent alpha plus beta. Okay? So, syempre, magre-refer ulit tayo sa formula natin for this one para malaman natin ano yung kailangan. Ito yan siya. Hmm. Huh? What's couscous? Ano yan? So, ano yan? It's the formula. Tangent alpha plus tangent beta over 1 minus the difference. So, ang kailangan lang talaga natin hanapin is tangent alpha and tangent beta. So, um, may, pwede nyo ito isolve using the trigonometric way of doing it. Or pwede naman using the trig identities. Pero ako mas gusto ko yung trig identities para hindi nalilimutan. Okay, so from, hindi ano na nga lang yung trig Ayusin yung trigonometric functions na nga lang para madali. Yung may mga x over r, y over r. Okay, so isa-solve natin yan separately. So, we know that sine is 3 fifths. And ano yung formula for sine? Uh, ano yung mga formula pala? So, sine theta is y over r, cosine theta is x over r, tangent theta is y over x tapos x square plus y square equal to r square okay yun yung mga formula natin dati yun na lang gamitin natin para mas mabilis okay sign is y over r r is always positive so ang r mo is 5 y mo is 3 so ang x square plus y square equal to r square so x square plus 9 equal to 25 x square is 16 so x is equal to plus or minus 4 you still have to decide so alam niyo na sa quadrant si alpha okay so sine is positive using all sin tako all sin tako positive si sine sa first and second quadrant but tangent is also positive. So, nasa quadrant 1 siya. So, alpha is in quadrant 1. In quadrant 1, ang x ay positive. So, x must be equal to... x is equal to 4 in this case. And kailangan natin ng tangent alpha. So, saan equal ang tangent alpha? Tangent alpha is y over x. y is 3, x is 4. So, tangent alpha is 3 fourths. Okay? So, isi-set aside muna natin yan. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa kabila. So, we have secant beta is negative 29 over 20. San ba equal ang secant? Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine is x over r. So, this is r over x. So, R is always positive. So, you can take R equal to 29. So, yung X mo, negative 20 dapat. So, solve natin si Y to get tangent. X squared is... What is X squared? 400 ba yun? Plus, uh, Y squared equal to... R square. What is R square? 29 square. Calculate na natin para mabilis. 
So you get 841. So y square is that is 4 4 1. So y is the square root of 4 4 1. And the square root of 4 4 1 is 21. Oops, kailangan pala kung positive negative, hindi pa natin alam. So plus minus square root of 4 4 1, so plus minus 21. So alamin natin kung nasaan si beta. Nasaan quadrant siya. Okay. So using all sinta ko. So, ang secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So, na secant. So, kung nasa quadrant 4, kapasitive yun. So, hindi pwede kasi negative si secant. Negative si secant. Okay? Hindi na pwede sa quadrant 1 kasi lahat sila positive doon. Ano mga risk? So, ang choices na lang natin, quadrant 2, quadrant 3. But, tangent is negative. In quadrant 3, tangent is positive. So, mapipilitan tayo to be in quadrant 2. And in quadrant 2, y is positive. So, ang pipiliin natin, y positive. So, y is 21. So, kailangan natin ng tangent beta. So, tangent is uh, y over x. So, y over x. So, ano ba yung y natin? 21 over ang x natin, negative 20. So, that is tangent beta. So, recap ko lang. Inakumpit natin tangent alpha. Ito. Inakumpit natin tangent beta. Ito. Okay. So, ipa-plug in natin yun dito sa formula natin. So, bura lang tayo ng mga stuff na hindi na natin gagamitin. Okay. So, this is equal to tangent alpha 3 fourths plus tangent beta negative 21 over 20 over 1 minus the product. Simplify na natin ito. Paano mo mag-simplify nitong fraction? So, magiging 1 plus negative times negative positive. So, the product of this is 63 over 80. So, anong LCD para gumanda? Dito may over 1. I think it is 80. So, multiply by 80 over 80 distribute, you get um, 80 divided by 4, 20 times 3, 60 minus this times this, so 80 divided by 24 times 21, 84 over 80 plus 63 and this is negative 24 over 140. Yes. That is the value. Okay? So, yan yung value ng tangent alpha plus beta. Ang given sa atin ay sine alpha and secant beta. The last two examples, very quick na lang ito. So, let us use the identities to prove. Okay, so let us prove this identity. Sign, alpha, my, mga two steps lang ito. Tangent alpha minus tangent beta. So, ang ginagawa ko dito, kapag nagpo-prove ng ganitong identities, may mga sum and difference, ginagamit ko yung formula 
para maging uh, trig functions lang siya nung alpha and beta. So, gawin natin ito. Start tayo sa left and expand natin yung numerator. So, that is sin cos cos sin o oh, ito yung sa left hand side over cos alpha cos beta which is equal to uh, this divided by this makakancel ang cosine beta so we get sine alpha over cosine beta cosine alpha plus ito di divide sa denominator makakancel si cosine alpha so we get sine alpha over ah sine beta over cosine uh, beta. And this is tangent alpha plus tangent beta. Ayan. So, na-prove na natin identity. Okay. So, another one. Ito, last na talaga. Okay. Itong cosecant x plus y equal to cosecant x, cosecant y, all over cosecant x, cosecant y, plus cosecant y. Ah, it must be cosine, sorry. Mali yung tanong. Cosine, cosine. Okay, so let us prove this identity. So, ganun ulit yung may sum sa angle. I-expand lang natin. So, kaya magsa-start ako sa sa left hand side. Okay. Wala tayong formula for cosecant, no? Cosine, sine, tangent lang yung may sum identity. So, gagawin ko muna tong sine. Cosecant is 1 over sine. So, 1 over sine x plus y is 1 over Okay. So, eto expand na natin. This is sin cos cosine. Sin cos cos sin cos cos sin. Okay. Tapos, gusto nyo maging kamukha nito, ba? Meron kang cosecant x, cosecant y sa numerator. So, magmumultiply tayo dito ng cosecant x, cosecant y. Pero magmumultiply din tayo sa denominator para makompensate yung minultiply natin sa numerator. Okay. One lang ang value niyan. Okay, multiply natin. Cosecant x, cosecant y over this times this. May mga magka-cancel ba? Ang magka-cancel ay sin x tsaka cosecant x. One lang ang value nun. So, the, the product of that two is cosine y times cosecant to. Wait lang. Tama ba yung nakopya kong ano, tanong? Ay, oops, sorry. Mali yung tanong na nakopya ko. <laughs> okay. So, eto. Ulit ha. Sorry, sorry. So, yung denominator dapat ay cosecant x cosine x plus cosecant y cos y. Okay, so yun yung pinaprove natin. Tama na ba yung copy ko? Yes, tama na. Wala namang mali dito sa solution. Okay, kasi dito tayo nag-start sa left. Okay, so gusto natin ng cosecant x cosine cosecant y. Okay, times na natin. Continue tayo dito. Okay, times natin ito and ito. Maka-cancel is yung sin x cosecant x. So matitira cosine y cosecant y. Okay, so cosine y, cosecant y. And then, product nito with this, kakancel naman si sine y, cosecant y. So, ang matitira ay si cosine x, cosecant x. And, 
Hindi ba ito na yung pinuprove natin? Pareha na sila, oh. This is the same as this. This is the same as this. So, kung OCO sila, using the commutative property of addition and multiplication, So, napakita na natin na this one is the same as this one. Okay, so, and that ends our lecture for today. So, kung meron kayong hindi naintindihan, balikan ninyo yung video and pause. Or you can email your discussion teacher or me. At kita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na episode. And in our next lecture, gagamitin ulit natin itong sum and difference identities to derive the double angle identities. Goodbye!